Virgil van Dijk has not started for Southampton in eight months. Virgil van Dijk's return to the Southampton squad is making it even tougher to earn a starting place, says Maya Yoshida. Southampton manager Mauricio Pellegrino brought Van Dijk on for the final 10 minutes of their 10 win over Crystal Palace last week, and he was an unused substitute in the defeat to Manchester United on Saturday. Van Dijk has not started a Southampton game for eight months following a long-term ankle injury and submitting a transfer request this summer, but Pellegrino had indicated the 25-year-old was ready to return to face United. Yoshida lined up alongside Holland international Wesley Hode in central defence for Southampton on Saturday, though, as the pair also kept Jack Stevens out of the side, but the Japan international remains wary of competition from the sidelines. It's really tough, I understand, he said on the battle for a centre-back role. Virgil is one of the best centre-backs in the Premier League. I have to keep strong in my performance to the manager, the fans, get a result for the team. It's only the things I can do. I just focus on myself and playing well. Highlights of Southampton's narrow defeat to Manchester United on Saturday with my experience in the last couple of years, I am pretty sure that kind of pressure makes me stronger. Even Jack Stevens was not involved in the squad. That's the kind of really high competition we have in Southampton. Saturday's 10 loss to United means Southampton have already lost 11 top flight matches in 2017 as many as they did in the whole of 2016 and have failed to score in eight of the last nine Premier League matches on home turf. Maya Yoshida right faced a tough battle with Romelu Lukaku in United's win over Southampton on Saturday. A meek first half display was followed by United's toughest second period of the season, yet Saints were unable to translate pressure into goals. Especially in the second half we dominated a lot, defender Yoshida said. They made a few chances, but, playing against a top team, the small detail makes a big difference. It costs a lot. It's really difficult to accept but that is why they are top of the table. Since the end of the season we couldn't score enough, that's the problem I think. We have to be more clinical for sure but defensively, I think we did much better than last season. So the way we are going is not wrong I think.